Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Gemini and Capricorn in a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this energy. We're going to go ahead and get right into it guys. Please join me on my page. Uh, Wacky Mo W A C K Y M O E. That is on Twitter and also Zen Romance Tarot Twitter and TikTok. Those are the only places I post. Also, I, I don't send things out for personal reads. It's not me. I notice a lot of the other readers are saying it. It must be something going on. So it ain't me. You guys, if you want to contact me, you're more than welcome to do so. Zen Romance Tarot Two at Gmail. Okay, so you guys are more than welcome to reach out to me. I'll be happy to chat with you or whatever. Also, I want to say thank you so much to all you guys. You have no idea. Your support means so much to me. Those videos, those videos, they are very therapeutic. Let me tell you that because, you know, you guys know. If anybody follows me online, you know what they've been trying to do. But we got this. We're good. I want to thank you guys so much. I'm going to keep praying for you. And you please, please keep praying for me. Seriously. Because we are in the midst of a battle. But we're okay. We got this. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Let's take a look at the individual energy for Gemini. Right? And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the individual energy for Capricorn in this read. Right off the bat, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do not feel like this is love. This feels more like business to me. I almost feel like pulling some kind of business cards or something like that. <laughs> but we're going to take a look and see what comes up. Um, based off what I see here in this deck, I still might pull love. I'm pretty sure I may. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what comes up. Um, I am using Fortune Oracle. What's going on in this relationship, please? Gemini, give me your energy right now in this relationship with Capricorn, please. I'm going to shuffle again. Again. All right. What's going on, Gemini, in this relationship? Gemini, wish... There's something with a wish. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. Some of you guys, you have something coming in for you. All right. There's something coming in. It could be an offer, probably a business offer. It could be something with love, whatever this is. There's something that you guys want to make happen. It looks like it has to do with a group, right? I feel like with this group, I also feel like there's something where you guys may have had some trouble with a group of people or expressing yourselves because that's what a three stands for. Also, it's about growth and change. Some of you guys were hoping for some sort of a change. But for some of you, I don't think you understood the damage or conflict that would come along with this change. This is something that subconsciously I feel like you guys wanted. You wanted, I want something to change about some matter or something like that. Could be this relationship. I'm going to put this over here. Give me more for Gemini in this relationship with Capricorn, please. Gemini. We have birth that comes out reversed here. There's something with a birth. Now, you guys are attempting to bird something. You were trying to bird something. Some of you guys were hoping for stability when it comes to a birth. I don't know about that. Whatever this is about, a birth can mean birth of a business, birth of an idea, birth of a child, right? This is about stability and structure, something that is standstill. There's no stability in some situation. There's no stability with something that you wished for. For some of you guys, you were hoping to manifest something with this group here, whatever this is about. You were hoping for some sort of action. It was your wish, to take action, movement, change. I want something to change. I want to master something. But I feel like whatever this idea is, it didn't pan out the way you wanted it to. Birth is reversed. Some of you guys weren't able to give birth to an idea. Some of you guys weren't able to, some of you guys weren't able to give birth, whatever that's about. All right. Now, some of you guys might be having some fertility issues, perhaps. Okay. That could be literal fertility or it could be something with business. Maybe it's just not moving the way you want it to. We also have here unicorn. There was something unusual with the unicorn. Something unusual, something you that's out of this world, something that you've never seen before. Success, hope, freedom, healing, and magic are all available to you if you just believe. Some of you guys are being advised to believe in magic. If you are of a, uh, if you're not a part of the spiritual community, that equates to a miracle. Believe in miracles, right? magic miracles believe in that right so you guys are being advised that maybe you need to have a belief in something that maybe you can't see something that you think might be a fairy tale is a unicorn let me tell you something unicorns don't just come from nowhere nobody just made it up out the blue sky there's something with the unicorn It's something that is foreign to us something that was not seen something that is legend a myth something like that I feel like for some of you guys, this again speaks to your desire to grow something. Some of you guys could have had an issue with a pregnancy. 
Some of you guys are hiding a pregnancy. You didn't want anybody to know about a pregnancy. There's going to be some hope and change in some situation. There's memories of the past here that show up. For some of you guys, you're having some memories of a child. I don't know what happened to this kid or something like that. Some of you guys, there was an idea that was brilliant. It failed for whatever reason. And it was, it was obviously something that was out of this world, like I said. Something that was just the most amazing whatever, whatever, right? I feel like it didn't happen for you guys. Let me see what else we have, All right? Let me see what else is coming up here. Give me more for Gemini in this relationship with Capricorn. Some of you guys were, there's something about a unicorn where you were hoping for success. There was something, some idea, something like that. There's some baby out there, a baby unicorn, some baby that has some, I see stars around this child. There's stars, there's magic around this kid or miracles around this child. Some of you guys have a child who's a miracle worker, whatever that's about. Or you could be a miracle worker. Beware, be careful of who you trust at this time. Whoever you're telling your information to, whoever you told your information to, you need to be aware. Either something is coming out or something has come out. Let's put it that way. Be careful of who you trust at this time. Be careful of who you confirm things to. You're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to say what you got to say. But I'm saying in terms of regular folk outside the law, I'd be very careful. Growth, change, choice. You guys have some changes coming up for you. Some of you guys took a, tri a, ri a, a trip. I'm pulling all the stunts when it comes to these numbers, right? So this is about a group. I'm going to put it all together with this one card. Some of you guys, it was something with a group. This group was supposed to help you grow something, help something happen for you. Some of you guys took a ship somewhere, risk, adventure, travel, right? Growth change, yep. Some of you guys took a trip and you were hoping to change something, grow something. But beware, I feel like for some of you guys, you got sold a pipe dream. Give me more. It could have been by this Capricorn or this is your energy. I don't know. Yeah, you took a trip. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me put this down a little bit to see if y'all can see it. Capricorn, give me your energy in this relationship with Gemini, please. What happened here? Give me your energy, please. Something was hidden because the moon card came up. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces energy or a Cancer. Or that's in your energy or something like that. Capricorn, give me your energy in this relationship with Gemini, please. All right, let's go. Proposal, somebody, a proposal. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. You guys are in a relationship or this is a business opportunity. Now, it could go one way or another for you guys. When I pulled this read, either this is an extremely loveless relationship or it is a relationship that has gone through lies, hell, turmoil, and it ain't working. Right, so it resulted in some nonsense if you see the emperor right there, right? We have proposal here. Some of you guys were hoping to come together with your Gemini. It was something with coming together. I feel like for some of you, this definitely had to do with a partnership. As a matter of fact, when I look at the text of this, this particular read, I want to say, because two is about coupling, right? We see that. For some of you guys, you were hoping to have some good luck, some good fortune in a situation, a partnership that flowed easily. For some of you, this is a partnership where you're hoping to have some balance at some point. Proposal. I have a proposal for you. I either want to propose marriage to you or propose some sort of union to you or propose a business deal or partnership. Luck. Yep. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. Yes. Yeah, so some of you guys, Capricorn, were hoping to get a proposal from somebody. You thought you were in luck. This was about having a new beginning for some of you, right? Because new beginning is consistent here. I want a new beginning. I want a proposal. Either new level of a relationship or this is somebody coming together after a breakup, like a reconciliation of some sort, partnership, balance, duality. Some of you guys could have tried to do business in the past with each other and it was not successful. But I'm coming to you with this proposal. I think this is going to work. I believe... We're going to have some luck this time. Something like that. Give me more, please. Capricorn in this relationship with Gemini. We also have here ego. So we have a number nine that comes out. This is accomplishment. Yup, you guys were hoping that you did something. Somebody proposes somebody thinking it was going to give them some good luck. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Now, I don't know if this is together energy. I did ask for your energy right now in this relationship. So um, I don't know when this stuff happened is my point. I don't know. But there's something with the eagle that comes up here. Some of you guys could be flying. Hold on. Some of you guys could be flying. Some of you guys could be part of the uh, LGBTQ community. Some of you guys. Somebody's in the mountains. 
I can interpret this a couple of ways. I could say that you have LGBTQ or maybe you are connected to whatever. That's fine. The LGBT community. There could be a member of the community who is LGBTQ. This person could be in a spotlight. If you take a look at that, I will tell you this. There's somebody out there who is part of a Jamaican culture who could be LGBTQ. They're hiding. Look at this person. This person is hiding. You see a rainbow, but you can clearly see the nose. It's in the mountains by the water. Somebody's hiding out somewhere. Somebody's hiding in the mountains. Somebody did something. I don't know what that's about. Somebody had some kind of luck mm, with travel, proposal. Yep, somebody went across somewhere. That's across water. Somebody traveled somewhere across water. Give me one more, please, for Capricorn traveling across water. Some of you guys, Capricorn... Some of you guys marry somebody from overseas. Somebody, some of you guys tried to have a child with somebody from overseas. There's something here that was unexpected. You were expecting something big from it. I don't know what this is. You will soar towards your destiny. At the end of the day, no matter what this proposal is, it's going to help you soar towards your destiny. Whether you get there in a good manner or bad, whatever that's about. Give me one more, please, for Capricorn. We also have judgment. Capricorn, soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Some of you guys could have traveled away. That's that's literally what that could mean. Some of you guys, besides the other explanations that I provided uh, to you that I want you to think about, right? Somebody flying somewhere, somebody hiding in the mountains, somebody could be LGBTQ, somebody's literally just took some time away because they wanted to soul search. Somebody's doing some reading, Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Some of you guys had to get away from a situation. That makes me curious, though. Wish proposal. I wish that you would propose to me. I wish I could be with you. Birth. Luck. I couldn't get pregnant before, but now I can. Luck. You told me I could. Unicorn. Eagle. Beware. Beware judgment. Mm. Whatever. Somebody did something that's... Somebody's hiding a birth. I'll tell you that. Somebody's hiding a birth and they went away to have a baby somewhere in the mountains or something like that. Something like that. I don't know. Give me one more just because I'm interested. <laughs> Give me one more under beware. What, please, for Gemini? Current energy of a dragonfly. There's something here with the dragonfly where you're unable to move. That makes more sense. Some of you guys, if somebody's stalling you, you're unable to move from a situation that you actually want to take action to get away from. And connect to something new for success. Wait a minute. Let's see. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Some of you guys are disconnected from spirit. Whoever you serve, you're disconnected. You didn't pray. You did not. You didn't pray. You didn't meditate. It says that you are disconnected. So there's no connection. Give me more, please. Give me one more for Capricorn. What's the judgment here? Proposal, luck, ego. Capricorn, are you making a decision about how you want to judge your Gemini and something that they did or something like that? We have abundance. The judgment is you will lose abundance or you're losing abundance in this situation. Lucky times are ahead of you. Along with good news, success, and prosperity, bad times are ahead of you. Along with bad news, no success, no prosperity. Some of you guys are going to get this judgment that there's no prosperity coming in for you. Give me the common energy for these folks, please. In this read, give me the common energy between these two people or energies. The world, yep. For some of you guys, you want to be open to new possibilities. Now, I told you earlier in this read that somebody was taking a trip traveling somewhere. It came up in the read. Somebody's taking a trip traveling. This is about a partnership for some of you. This is about you running from the past. Past memories keep coming up. There's something where you're trying to run from something to gain harmony. Trying to heal a situation probably within yourselves. This is a common energy. Some of you guys are looking at each other on a worldwide web. For some of you, this is about completing a goal or lesson with each other. For some of you, this is immigration. You will be going back to another country. For some of you guys, you're going to travel back to another country because your time is completed wherever you are, whatever that's about for you. The World Wide Web, depending on where we uh, are with this read, I'll determine if I need to bring out the other meaning of the world. But we do see wholeness, profusion, and accomplishment. Something was able to be accomplished, right? You guys got something done? Let's take a look. All right, we're going to get into it. We're going to see what's going on in this relationship, okay? Gemini, we have the Two of Pentacles. It comes up reverse for you. Now, if we were to take a look at the Two of Pentacles upright, we're going to say that this is about multitasking, weighing options, in some cases, robbing Peter to pay Paul, or trying to find another way to generate income. So what does that mean? That means that some of you are going to go to work Monday through Friday, right? 
Some of you are going to drive Uber. The minute you get off work, I'm going to turn on that little phone and, you know, start delivering food. I'm, I'm trying to balance my way through this society, through my situation. That's for some of you. If we get into a more deeper look at what this means, and you know what? I want to pull something. Hold on, y'all. I want to pull something. Give me one sec. I want this over here. Uh, hold on. All right. Yeah, I want that over there. Okay, got it. Okay. And let me just have some more coffee. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, uh, when we take a look at pin uh, two of pentacles, in some cases, for some of you, this is about an inability to commit to something. This relationship, I cannot commit to this. I can't commit to this relationship, business relationship. Notice there is no love here. Again, right? I told you guys that. But it does say something about a proposal. So somebody made a proposal. Now the proposal, again, was business or not. So somebody has an inability to commit to a situation. Somebody struggling in a situation, feeling overwhelmed. Gemini is what it says here. It says that you are experiencing difficulties. Pretending that all is well. Juggling resources. Juggling resources and options for change for some of you, right? For some of you guys, this is you having to have faith in yourself, but it's also about you stressing over finances, over money, over debt. The debt is here because of greed. So you became greedy or the energy that shows up in this read. Maybe you feel like Capricorn became greedy. I'm going to read it in your line. Guys, take it how it resonates. Leave the rest behind. If you know this line is not you and it's your partner's energy, don't be offended by it. Just take it and apply it to the other line, right? There's no need to be offended by what we feel inside. It's the truth. It, it is what it is. I mean, listen, let me tell you. I, I have, I let it all out online and I had no choice and I'm actually very glad that I you know sometimes you think you don't have a support system but you really do you got a whole bunch of other folk going on the same thing there's something and to be honest with you some of these stories sound exactly the same what route did they take to entrap me right was it done by trafficking or was it done by I don't know you yanking my kids from me and whatever so stuff like that so everybody's in this boat do not be offended by this. Just take the lesson. It is what it is. All right. Now, Gemini, in this read, not only do I see you juggling resources, having a wish, some deal that you wanted to come true in this relationship with Capricorn, you're juggling finances right now. But we also see here the juggling of finances could be from the devil energy. Right. So for some of you guys, why do I feel like somebody is doing uh, what do you call them things you put in your arm? What do you call them? Think what is that? Uh, the muscle guys. Because it's mentioned in a muscle man here, somebody with muscles. Now, this could be one of those, um, I don't know, the, the bodybuilders? Yeah. And some somebody might be taking steroids. It's an addiction or something like that. Somebody could have a, you know, a regular, I don't want to say regular, everyday addiction. But one of the common ones that we would often refer to, right? So I see there's somebody who's muscular here, somebody who's trying to consummate some sort of relationship there's something about human indulgence it talks about you acting ignorant in some situation and you were run by your ego with this devil energy that comes up for you this card is going to tell us that there's some sort of obsession about something somebody could be obsessed with a situation maybe gemini you're obsessed with the situations for some of you guys you're obsessed with covering up a situation Right? I don't want people to know that. I mean, really, who wants people to know their deepest, deepest, darkest secrets about addictions? Right? Who wants people to know that about the greed? I'm greedy. I'm envious. I am obsessed with materialism. I want my 10 houses. I want the 10 cars, something like that. I feel like I deserve this at all costs, that type of energy, right? But this is also about sexual lust. So you have this Gemini energy coming in. Some of the, some Geminis have been spending money on hookers, all right? Because you got the two of pentacles with the devil energy, drugs, hookers, whatever this is, right? It's something that is not on the up and up. It is something where there's some dark lust, some demonic energy that nobody wants to show. And I'm not being funny here, guys. I'm really telling you the truth of what I see. Sometimes you can see the devil card and the devil card can almost tell you what kind of addiction a person can have or can advise you to call off certain things to trigger you. In this case... This is somebody who's overindulging. This is somebody who's overindulging with men and women. This is somebody who's putting drugs inside their veins. This is somebody who is everywhere you go, I'm going to look at you. Everywhere you go, I'm going to make sure that white van follows you to make sure as soon as you get to the corner, 
I'm going to see if I can snatch you. Some of you guys, you're affiliated with some group here. This is also talking about not only egotism ruling you, right? We see that, but this is irresponsibility. Some of you guys are being advised that you need to reevaluate your relationship, Gemini, with the Capricorn. Because if you notice, Gemini, Capricorn comes up right in your energy. Now, this read is Gemini and Capricorn. So you feel like, hey, I have this Capricorn who made me a proposal. This person has a devil in them. This person is addictive. This person is doing things because of sexual lust and certain energies. This person is with men and women and all types of folly. Whatever's going on here. And I'm not, I'm not judging because... But this is what your person thinks of you. So Gemini, you could be feeling this way about Capricorn. For some of you guys, you find them ignorant. You find them materialistic. You find them abusive. For some of you guys, this is a harmful relationship. And it's based on greed and envy. This person will sell you down the river in a minute, Gemini. I'm just saying. We have the five of wands that comes up reverse for you, Gemini, in this relationship with Capricorn. Now, this is you understanding the situation. This is you juggling. For some of you guys, again, you're juggling addictions. It could be drugs or whatever. But it also mentions here that with the five of wands that this is a challenge for you because you guys have to adopt, adapt to certain circumstances here. Something about certain circumstances. For some of you, somebody tried to sabotage you. This is a Capricorn or somebody in your energy. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. It could be another Capric Capricorn aside from the Capricorn in this read. So there could be two Capricorns. I'm pointing that out because we have so many energies that show up. People are the same size trying to mask who they are. I don't want you to see me, so I'm going to hide behind the obvious Capricorn. Okay, so we're going to figure out who the Capricorn is in front of you. We're going to get them out the way, then we're going to expose you. It's literally that simple. Somebody here, right? Because this is about adopting to changes under difficult circumstances. There's something coming out about this Capricorn that you're affiliated with or whatever you did business with or something like that. This is new competition. It says they're cutthroat. Now, for all we know, somebody could have sent somebody to do this stuff. But I feel like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius has some sort of hand in this nonsense, right? Now, this competition here is dishonest. They are underhanded. They're going to do anything to get what they want. You're going to end up in litigation to resolve disputes. We have that that comes up. Please keep in mind, Gemini, your public image may, it does not say for certain, it says may have some sort of a negative impact. It may suffer. You guys are being advised that whatever you've been caught up with, you need to stare clear at this time, lay low. Talk when you need to and shut up when you need to, right? So you guys are being advised to stay away from any risky behavior or practices at this time with your Capricorn, right? I feel like this is your partner. Capricorn, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you. Okay, I'll let that pass. Now, Capricorn, in this relationship with Gemini, you have the Nine of Swords that comes up. So this entails quite a bit, quite a bit. This is nightmares. You guys can't sleep. This is anxiety. This is grief. This is depression. I can't sleep. Literally, you can't sleep, right? This could be because of your Gemini. I feel like you guys, I don't want to say, I don't want to say you guys, these are your thoughts on each other. I, I don't know. So the Nine of Swords is coming up for you, right? We see the nightmares. We see that you suffer. There's something about past suffering and unhappiness. For some of you guys, you are suffering because of mistakes made in the past. You're troubled by bad dreams and bad fantasies. Now, I see for some of you, there are some deep-rooted issues that you've been running from, never dealt with, right? They could be any kind of issues. They could be sexual abuse issues. They could be, why am I, you know, why am I this or that issues? Just things that you haven't dealt with. Why did this and that one treat me like that? Or why didn't I have a regular home or something like that, right? But it's something that comes back. It's a deep-rooted issue. So, for instance, if you grow up extremely poor, you're going to do everything you can to make sure that you're good. So it's that type of energy. It's that why. And I'm not saying that you guys are blaming anybody, but whatever was done, something got done. Whatever this mission or goal is that you had, it results in bad dreams, the fantasies, the deep-rooted issues. For some of you guys, you understand that this is about... You needing some psychiatric help. Some of you guys could be reaching out for help here. But the Nine of Swords, if you take a look at the text, means that you got caught in the act. And that's where it stops. I got caught in the act. Capricorn. 
And some of you guys could have got caught by your Gemini here. Libra Aquarius, Gemini energy coming up. Like Gemini is like, I caught you doing this. Or somebody caught you. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo caught you. Something like that. The law caught you. Now, if we go over to Five of Swords, it comes up in the energy for Capricorn. Five of Swords, this is you being defeated in a situation. So you guys were worried because you know you got caught in the act of doing something. But Five of Swords, if you go to it, it's going to tell us that you were defeated in some situation that caused you misfortune. It's causing you misfortune. This is about betrayal. Somebody betrayed you or you betrayed your Gemini. It says here there's some sort of loss affiliated with this and you have to learn to accept boundaries. Capricorn, you went above and beyond to go over the boundaries with Gemini. You did not do what you were supposed to do or you did something that wasn't part of the deal. It caused some kind of conflict here. For some of you guys, this is about bullying. There was some bullying, Capricorn. You could have been bullying. This is also violence, abusive relationships. It's just a, it's a follow-up. I feel like for some of you, your Gemini feels like you abused me. Libra Aquarius Gemini says, Capricorn, you abused me. We have that energy coming up. But this card is about some kind of fights. Violent relationships, the hitting, the back and forth. Whatever was done, it looks like somebody going to pay for it. But it says here, boundaries brought on by distress, right? So some of you guys could be staying away from a situation. And some of you guys could be staying away from a situation because of poor boundaries. What does, a, what does that mean? A poor boundary is somebody saying, there's a restraining order out on you. You still came to my house, all right? I have medical records that are sealed or, you know, you have to have my signature to get into my medical records. You went above and beyond. You went into a place that you didn't belong. Some of you went to work for a job that you knew you, first of all, couldn't do. You knew you weren't supposed to be there and you got desperate, all right? Got real desperate. You're so desperate, Capricorn, that you had to make some changes some of you guys had to switch some stuff up, take the ideas from somebody else, lock the page, take the ideas, put it on another page, something like that. Theft. This is theft, you guys. And then this is a piece to it, too. So Nine of Swords says that you got caught in the act. Five of Swords is you got caught in the act of doing something illegal. That's what I was telling you. It goes on further to explain what it is. So we see the anxiety. We see the nightmares because you got caught. But then we ask, why did you get caught? You got caught in the act of doing something illegal. So it tells us what you did was illegal. So it doesn't necessarily tell us why, but it kind of does. If we look at the devil energy right next to it, that could be those addictions, right? That could be the trafficking, human trafficking, dark lust, prostitution, all types of stuff, right? So we see that. This is bringing on some definite mental issues for you. And I think another big factor for you, Capricorn, is some of you guys are going to end up, I don't know what this means. Some of you guys are going to be sent to another country or locked up in another country. Like when I say locked up in another country, there's a couple of, um, couple of layers to it, if you will. Right. So if you, maybe if you're American and America sends you back I mean, your country might have something on you or they found something that's going to lock you up when you get back or something like that, it's going to be a different completely different whatever that's about now i will say capricorn we have the tower reverse that comes up for you now this card again now i don't know how this goes for you these cards suggest that this is something that you've done over and over and over again in this relationship for some of you guys you could have used somebody for money for somebody you use somebody for money and you left them juggling resources because of something that you did you may have left somebody in debt because of false promises and now Gemini's like, I have to have faith in myself now. I can't depend on you. This card, the tower reverses you refusing to change old habits. So what does that mean, Capricorn? This is something that you've done repetitively over and over and over again. And like I've been telling Virgo, right? If you go back to my reads, I said, what? That one last, you got one more. That last time that you do it, that last time is when you get caught. And you got caught. It says that you got caught doing something in the act, right? So they got you on camera. They got you with the TSA. They got you presenting that passport that ain't yours. That picture up there ain't me. Or you. That ain't, it ain't me. That ain't you. Whatever, however that goes. Somebody switched up a picture on a passport or something like that, right? We also see here, this is you refusing to change bad habits, suggesting that you've done it before. But it also says here, this is repeat behavior that's going to result in some disruption in your life. You are going to be hit 
from some I don't know if this is a group of people or it looks like the law. You're going to be hit from something. For some of you guys, you were caught in the act of doing something illegal. So if we were to take a look at it a little bit more and we look at what the tower actually is, it is a crumbling of a foundation, right? That could be the crumbling of a house. The tower represents some sort of insurance fraud. If we have to take a look at it, we're going to say there's a house burning, a building burning. And somebody puts a claim in, it could have been insurance fraud or something like that. At the end of the day, this is about fraud. I don't want this property anymore. They're going to come search this property because there's all this paperwork in here. Let me burn this mother down. I don't want anybody to see this. Something like that. So with this refusal to change, you guys are going to suffer some sort of disruption. It says the disruptions are going to show up in the form of unseen difficulties. until you get the message and I feel like some of you guys have gotten a message in this situation um, it says that these forces or whatever you did here whatever you did caught you got caught in the act of doing something it says that jail incarceration a tower reversed is jail it's almost like I always say a, 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 almost a jail certainty now depending on what you've done for some of you guys this could be home arrest for some of you guys you could literally go to prison but based off what I see here, just being caught in the act, whatever this is, it's not good. This is not one of them, I stole a bag of potato chips uh, because I was hungry. I don't know. This is not, I stole some water or 99 cent Arizona at the store because I, I have no money. And I really wanted some, uh, I don't know, a strawberry, whatever. I really wanted that and I have no money. It's not one of them things where the guy's chasing a lady out the store because she's hungry. And you'd be like, you know what, don't chase her. Let me just give you that dollar for that Arizona. It's not like that. This is some big, you heard? Like big. This is human trafficking. This is jail. The main things that I'm seeing here in terms of crime, because unfortunately I feel like even though this presents, I'm presenting it as love, when I get into the cards, it's now showing me the actual situation. All right. I, this is jail. This is jail because of arson, right? So you could have a Capricorn going down for insurance fraud arson. And in some cases, attempted murder if they tried to burn the place down with people in it and they tried to put a claim in. But we do have a Gemini that's going down for trafficking. If it is not that heavy for you, this is you going down because of an addiction, which is why you don't have any money. Somebody could be losing a house, an apartment, or something like that because of an addiction. So we have two separate crimes here. How do they add up? I feel like if you guys are in a partnership, I feel like... One may have participated more than the other, right? One participated in the trafficking, the other one participated in burning the paperwork down to cover up the trafficking, something like that. Something like that. At the end of the day, this was seen by the world though. This is already out there. This is a worldwide web, all right? This is something that's been seen for some of you guys. Completing a lesson. Some of you guys didn't learn the lesson again and now the world is, this, this is over. This was your last chance there's no more, right? So somebody's going to jail here. And then we see these people, these people in this industry or somebody in your business field who's cutthroat. So they wanted this to happen to you. This could have been an Aries Leo Sagittarius who did something to get you caught. Whatever that's about. We are going to, I'm still going to go ahead and take a look at love, even though I feel like those, those are fortune cards, but I think, oh, oh, oh love. I love getting the cards, guys. I don't want to split the deck here. I don't want to make that complicated. Hmm. Where are my love cards? There they are. Hold on, guys. Hmm. All right, let's go. Give me love in this relationship, please. Give me love, Jim. Switch up these cards. I got I got another deck of these too. Because I feel like, I don't know. Maybe I'll pull them on my next set. Alright. Something with religious factors. It just came up. I don't know if that means something with religious factors. Stay optimistic about your love life. Somebody could be down about their love life because they can't quite seem to find the right person. Some of you guys keep running into these weirdos drug addicts or whatever they be doing like overindulging and we ain't talking about the the regular we talking about that heavy weirdo 
something wrong with you type drugs like something wrong with you like i don't know incoherent slumped over whatever something like that i'm turning these over all right let's separation look at that all right let's see gemini give me your energy in this relationship with capricorn please tell me where we are what are we doing oh did i do oh i didn't do the last card oops let me get back to that then i'll do love oops I feel like that because I've been referencing it the whole time, but let me just actually do that. The emperor is a common energy between you guys. Who is the emperor? And that's my fault. I, my apologies, guys. This is supreme authority. This is a government. That's why you see judgment here. That's why you see the tower reverse. That's why I was telling you guys this feels more like a start. I feel like it's more of a business deal, but it could be love. Somebody could have said this is love but it was really a business deal or something like that but the common energy is the emperor that's the common energy in between these two energies that show up that are in conflict that can't sleep at night that are caught up in uh, drugs obsession somebody could even be staring in, in the worldwide wed and, and the devil somebody's losing money capricorn you could be losing money the judgment is your money will be taken away or something like that or something significant it's going to be some sort of significant hit to the pocketbook this is supreme authority, the government, the system. Somebody may have issues. Both you guys have issues in the system with the government. So this could be a court case or something like that. This is law, authority. This is a figure who gives commands. It's not just a figure that gives commands, but it could be a figure that gives uh, commands. It also goes on to say a deity known for throwing thunderbolts. Somebody could have threw a wrenching your game the government could have got hold of your tricks or something that you were doing something like that somebody saw something somebody that sits high somebody was made aware of something somebody is aware that they have to make a judgment on a situation right they're gonna throw lightning into that hiney there's something about a deity that throws thunderbolts this person this emperor could also be part of an organization or something like that the cards are saying that both you guys are involved with the established order. So you could be a criminal with a case in the system, or you could be a part of the established authority. You could be a part of the government or something like that. I also see here that the common energy for both you guys, for some reason, there's a need to identify with a powerful group, a religious group, an ideology, an intellectual group, a political group. Or you guys are associating with someone who needs to be. Some of you guys have this emperor in your energy that you have in common. And this emperor, this emperor is going to call the correct judgment on you. That's the law. The law is making a judgment about the insurance fraud. The obsession, the trafficking. The moving of funds, the juggling of funds. Some of you guys are moving. Somebody moved money overseas. The world two of pentacles moving money somebody's moving people overseas somebody's got some somebody's hiding in the mountains too yo gemini give me your energy in this relationship i feel like whoever this is uh with the devil energy next to the five of swords somebody was definitely defeated in this situation it was an abusive relationship gemini you could have had some hands put on you by capricorn vice versa y'all could have been fighting each other but the, the law got involved and it looks like they ain't having it. They're calling judgment on a marriage or something like that. Getting to know each other. So this could have been getting to know each other. I, I really didn't know you, says Gemini. I didn't know you. I didn't know you were capable of the die, to the die. Now you ain't perfect either. But for some of y'all, Capricorn got you caught up in this nonsense because of something that they lied about, right? Got you in a world of trouble. Give me more. Gemini, your energy in this relationship. Stay optimistic about your love life. So getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. But then we have positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Some of you guys were looking for romance. And that's... Uh, all right. Give me one more. Somebody could have been looking for real, genuine love in a situation, a genuine connection. We also have release your ex. There, You have let go of your ex. Gemini, you could be letting go of this Capricorn because they are not good for your pocketbook, obviously. This person is not good for your reputation. Your reputation may suffer. It's going to have a negative. You don't want a negative mark. Or if it's already negative, you don't need no more heat, right? So let's go. So some of you guys have released your Capricorn or there's a need to release your ex in a situation. Somebody else. 
other than Capricorn. That could be another Capricorn over there. Some of you guys might need to release a Scorpio for whatever reason, a Leader, or a Carius, or a Gemini. But some of you guys, you need to release an Aries. Mm, yeah. Give me more. Capricorn, your feelings in this relationship with Gemini. Past life relationship. You guys have known each other before. Mm, I always wonder. I guess past life in a... I, I, I guess I understand that. You know, past lives. I've known you before. I knew your spirit. You probably had a different face, but the energy is the exact same. Give me more Capricorn. So Capricorn, you felt like you've known Gemini, getting to know each other. There's something with children here. Children came up reverse. Your love life is being affected by children. Somebody might have some challenges having children. And that could be why we have this birth here. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Gemini who demands children. And I feel like there's a Capricorn that may not be able to deliver. Or you didn't want children with this person in the past life. And it looks like you may not want it now. I don't know. Something with children. Give me one more Capricorn. We also have new love. Mm. Past life relationship, children, and new love. Some of you guys might have a problem with somebody having children. Like you got kids already. Depends on how old you are, I guess. As, with, as you get older, you expect people that they got kids. <laughs> Give me the common energy between these two. There's a need to release. I will tell you this, Gemini. There's a need to release your ex in order for you to get something going with this new love. You need to be positive and have faith when it comes to something. Some of you guys need to be positive and have faith that you will have your children. You'll have children. Or something like that. But getting to know each other. I feel like I've known you in a past life. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you guys are really into each other here. That's what it looks like. But it does. It looks like there's some reservations. Huh. That makes no sense to me. But whatever. Alright. I'm going to leave that there. But I'm going to go ahead and get a conversation. Hmm, I think... I think given this, I'm going to pull something else too. Because there's just too much criminal activity here for me to ignore. So I'm going to go on with the read, but way too much. Way too many things that are obvious here. Give me a conversation, please. What does Gemini have to say to Capricorn in this read? Gemini, commit to me. Gemini is demanding you commit to me. Mm, give me more. Gemini, what do you have to say to Capricorn, please? Caress me with your heart. You will not caress me with your heart. I need you to commit to me. You won't. Why? Because you're a trafficker. That's why. <laughs> I'm just saying. Or you on drugs. And, you know, or you be looking at me online 24 hours a day. And it's creepy. It's weird. Somebody could be stalked online. Or there's some online presence here. Or something on the web. Give me more, please. And like I said, some of you guys are traveling across the world. So you can get some kind of peace and clarity in a situation. Gemini. We also have here, I get lost in your eyes. So it is a commit to me. You won't caress me with your heart. And I get lost in your eyes, right? So give me one more Capricorn. What do you have to say to Gemini? Let me shuffle these up. Capricorn, I am angry at you. Capricorn wants you to know that they are angry. Give me more Capricorn. What do you have to say to Gemini? I'm scared. I'm angry at you. I'm scared. Give me more. Capricorn, what do you have to say to Gemini? I am not captured by your beauty. I'm not captured by you. Mm. Give me the common energy. Mm. Y'all respond right to each other too. Caress me with your heart. I'm scared. That I'm scared feels like abusive scared. It doesn't feel like, oh, I'm scared to open up my heart. It feels like abuse scare, abusive relationship. I know you ain't right. I know my TV going to be missing type of energy. Give me the common energy, please. I want you in my arms. I feel like you guys are definitely attracted to each other or something, or there's some connection here. One more. Both of you say you need time. I want you in my arms, but I need time. Whatever that's about, but give me one second, guys. So I'll pull them other cards. It's too much. Like I said, there's way too much criminal activity in here so give me a second
cards. Oh, there they are. Got them. All right, y'all, hold on. I just got to pull them. While I was pulling this deck, we got the Hermit card. This is Virgo energy. Somebody could be incarcerated. Somebody did some kind of magic in this situation. It's incarceration. They wanted to have some kind of control over a situation here. And it looks like they are oops, locked away. <laughs> All right. Let me close this. Because there's so much criminal activity, I am just going to pull the devil. And, sh and I'm going to pull the tower. What else are these people involved in? Either confirm something or expand, please. Somebody's in a same-sex relationship. This could be a same-sex relationship. We did get, you know, possibility somebody could be in a same-sex relationship. The law is involved here. Give me the devil, please. Show me what falls under the devil for Gemini in this read. What falls under this devil card? A serial killer. Somebody could have attempted murder on somebody. Give me more. That's something that people don't want to know, that I'm racist. You're racist, right? So there's somebody who was killing folks and they're racist. Give me more. One more. It says racism is not, but it, 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 it stuck automatically. I don't know. Anyway, what if somebody's asking questions? What if? Hmm, serial, serial killing enough. My goodness. Somebody was trying to cause some kind of anorexia. Somebody wanted somebody to feel abandoned, but they don't. Or you feel abandoned, or they wanted you to, and you don't. Somebody's not eating, or they can't hold food down. Mm -hmm. Gemini. Now, Capricorn. Let's take a look. Tell me about the tower, please. What else could fall under the umbrella of the tower? We do see serial killer coming up. Somebody wanted somebody to feel abandoned. They don't. You wanted anorexia. Not happening. Somebody could be racist. Or protesting that racism is not patriotism. Capricorn, show me the tower. A prostitute. Some There could be somebody, a, a, a man or woman of the night. Something with prostitution. Something, they don't want this to come out. Prostitution under the tower. That's going to come out. That's why they're burn, burning this house down. Somebody's trying to go into meditation. Maybe somebody's trying to change their life or hoping for a different outcome. They're looking for some sort of safety in a situation. For some of you Capricorn, you either pull Gemini into some sort of a situation where they are meditating and trying to find a way out. And this is a secret cross dresser. Somebody could have tried to burn somebody's house down like, or something like that. Commit some kind of insurance fraud. Somebody got up and said they were a man when they were a woman and a trickster. Somebody's doing black magic, so whatever that's about. So this black magic ends up landing you in jail, Capricorn. It looks like you up all night, can't sleep. It says you got caught in the act, and then it says you got caught in the act of something illegal tricking somebody telling somebody that you were a man instead of a woman it could be anything like that what's the common crime between these two please or if we had to look, take a look at the common energy between the devil and the tower what is the card please a mistress somebody's got a mistress that they tried to get rid of a mistress or a mistress they didn't want something to come out about a mistress that could be the same sex but they look like you know they look like a man or a woman but they're going, listen, y'all moving heaven and earth to cover this mess up. Parent abuse, it could have been a parent involved in this situation. Unrequited love, that's what I thought. You guys don't like each other. I don't know if this was just for business or something like that. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Ah, 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 ah. I love you guys. I will see you at the next read. Bye.